Today's subject is about death penalty. That's the name of this topic. Have you ever watched the news or court TV? Have you ever got wrapped up in murder cases to the point that you are judge and executioner? Have you ever said in your heart that person deserves the death penalty? Are you really sure? Do you know all the facts or do you believe everything you hear? If Jesus was convicted of a crime in today's world, would we be chanting, give him the death penalty? Would you recognize Jesus as the Savior or believe that he is just another criminal that deserves to die? My mom once said, once a con, always a con. But what if you were branded that label by mistake? What if you were in prison for a crime you didn't commit? You may tell yourself, that doesn't happen anymore, but it can and it does. The poor in this world can't really afford lawyers, so they are stuck with a public defender. The public defender gets paid either way, guilty or not guilty. Generally, the public defender is not going to give a case a lot of effort because they aren't at risk of losing their pay. As for the rich, they can usually buy their way out of trouble. They have the funds necessary to get an expert lawyer who can wiggle around our corrupt legal system. Jesus volunteered to die for us on the cross despite our guilt. Isaiah 53 verse 3, 7, and 8 He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people was he stricken. Does this sound like a fair trial to you? He died for all of our sins. And sins still yet to come. Are we grateful for his sacrifice? With the world growing increasingly evil, why would we not cleave to him? Because perhaps we might think the Bible is an outdated textbook. We can't prove through science that Jesus existed. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 1 Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? King Herod believed in the report. Matthew 2 verses 3 through 5 when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. In fact, Herod believed so much that he planned to kill baby Jesus. Matthew 2 verse 13 the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Herod slew all the children that were two and under in Bethlehem, and in all the coast around it. The devils believed in him. Matthew 8, verse 29. They cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, of thou Son of God? Art thou come to torment us before your time? Yeah. Just think about that for a moment. The devil believed in him. But yet people don't. A certain centurion believed in him, Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servants should be healed. Many publicans and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and asked the disciples why Jesus was eating with the publicans and sinners. Matthew 9, verses 12 and 13. They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. 
Despite all the evidence, such as the miracles he performed, the healing of the sick, and his profound teachings, the Pharisees did not believe. Matthew 11, verse 15. He that hath ears to hear, hear. Let him hear. Matthew 12, verse 30. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees asked to see a sign. They lacked faith in Jesus. Matthew 12, verse 39. An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Jesus began to speak in parables. Matthew 13, verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Matthew 13, verse 15. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Matthew 13, verse 17. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. You can choose to hear or not. You can choose to deny him or not. Many people feel that they are not, there are not enough facts to believe. Biblical archaeologists have been uncovering many truths that support that certain parts of the Bible are true. Isn't that enough to believe the whole Bible is true? Luke chapter 12 verse 2 For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. John 3 verse 12 if I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how should ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? John chapter 4 verse 48 Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Jesus paid the price for our sins. 1 John chapter 2 verse 2 And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. John 1, chapter 2, verse 22. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. 1 John three sixteen. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Will you pay it forward? Do you love Jesus enough to choose the death penalty? Hebrews 9, verse 27 and 28. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto heaven. Do you love Jesus enough to choose the death penalty for him? This is a question I highly recommend that you afflict your hearts of and really truly ask yourselves today. And if you have not come to the Lord, now is the best time to do so. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, let this video bless those who have heard it and lead those who need to hear it to it. And bless all your people, whether they be good or wicked. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.